Hi, Peter from Callouts here. What you just saw was our latest Camtasia template collection, Stompers. I hope you liked it. So I wanted to take this opportunity to showcase this new template series for you. The collection includes 18 different uh, animations for text and videos. We have included six backgrounds and a Stomper soundtrack for you as well. So let's dive in and check it out. Okay, so here we are in Camtasia 2020 and I don't have a project loaded here. Uh, let's first go into the library and check it out. So once you have unzipped and installed the library asset into Camtasia, it will appear here in the library section. So you have a folder 62 Stomper is where the templates resides. And you have a help file that you can click and check out like that or if you want to watch it in a little bit of a larger way you can just drag it to the timeline and zoom in and i go through the steps here that you need to take um, so you will first find it in the library and the second step is uh, a good place to start is to drag the desired music to the timeline and when it comes to stompers it's good if the soundtrack has a steady and very uh, loud beat because you kind of base the text and uh, image video animations to the beat here. Uh, then you drag the desired templates and you find them here. There are 18 different uh, templates. You have an, an intro that is slightly longer, it's two seconds. Then you have 16 one second clips. Uh, all of them uh, has a text and uh, image video in them. And we also added six gradients for, if you don't have a suitable video or image, you can use the gradients instead. Uh, or in between if you just want to the, the relieve the viewer a little bit of the tempo in the video because the tempo gets pretty intense when you do stompers. And we also have a stomper soundtrack included. Uh, it's a 30 second track. So once you have uh, dragged the music uh, and then you can match in the, the templates with the beat and then you can edit the text and the background plate in the video. So let's give it a go. Uh, you first load up the music here. Let me delete that one. And we can zoom in a little bit so we see it. As you can see here, I have scaled up the track for the music. Uh, because it makes it a little bit easier to match the beats. And then you can work uh, just directly on what you see, or if you want to go ahead and uh, mark in the timeline where the beats come, that's also an option. Uh, now I zoomed and we jump back out again. So you can see there's pretty clear a beat here, beat, beat, beat. So one way of doing it is we just place it where the beat comes, place it, place it, and place it. Uh, so let's uh, let's just drag in some of the templates and take a look at how you do it. I will just randomly here basically. So I place it to the beat there and let's do another one and since it i have it to lock sometimes it's a little bit uh, it locks where you don't want it to lock so i hold down the control key and i can fine adjust it let's do the wiggle down and let's do the pull in so there we have four templates to the four beats. Let's take a look at how it looks. Oops. Change the scale a little bit here so you see it properly and start over. 
So there you go. Then to edit the templates. Now I haven't picked out any music or uh, any images or videos here really for it, but we will just uh, let's let's do it. So I mark the first template here and then you can edit the text directly here in the quick properties. So let's go with this is cool. There you have it. And you have a certain amount of space here. And if you go over the space, it looks better to have it on one row, but uh, you can actually, uh, I mean, if you continue, if you write the longer text, it's going to break up in two rows, which will also work, but it's also limited in height space. So it's going to be a little bit of small area perhaps. Uh, and since they are only one second each, you can break up uh, into two if you have a little bit of a longer text, break it up instead as an option. And then we have placeholders here, which you can use just to drag in videos or uh, images. It uh, works both. Uh, so I have a 4K video of a beach here. So I'm dragging it. I'm not dropping it on the timeline, but I'm dropping it on top of the placeholder. And there it's loaded. So cut number 10 here is a little bit of a different one because that actually shows the, the background is what you see. So the placeholder is going to shine through here. So let's, let's use the uh, image for this video. Okay, just show it to you here. That's how it looks. And I will, first I have to mark, so I get the pre quick properties open and then I drag it in and I drop it there and that's just what's coming through. Let's say stomper time. And let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's try an image instead uh, for this one. And I have an image that is size. This image is slightly larger. It's actually pretty large. It's almost 6,000 time, 6, times 4,000 pixels. And it's going to be scaled down to the size that you see here. There you have it. So it's scaled down to exactly the measurements. And for the last one, take a video here again. And I forgot to edit the texts. Let's call it demonstration. And the last one. Thank you for watching. This is a little bit longer, so this is probably going to break in two lines. Yeah. So let's see how that looks. So uh, we have edited all four of them. As you can see, it went pretty quickly, quick and easy. And uh, we're done with this part. So. Um, that's what I wanted to show you today. So I hope you like the new Stomper templates, 18 templates, six backgrounds, one help file and one uh, Stomper soundtrack file included in the collection. It's available on callouts and with, I believe, over 700 Camtasia templates today. So you're very welcome to stop by www.callouts.com and check out our Camtasia templates and all the other thousands of uh, video and presentation assets we have. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.
Please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything.